In order to draft our push stick, we are going to have to learn how to use arcs. So early in the semester, we learned how to make precision geometry with polylines and circles. Now we're going to use arcs. So if you come right below the circle, there is the arc menu. I'm going to come to the lower right hand corner and grab this arrow and then grab this top gray bar and drag this arc menu off into the screen. If we hover over these, we have a few different ways to make arcs. The first option here is center, start, angle, start, end, point, start, end, direction, start, end, radius, and some tangency arcs. So we are going to make this shape right over here, and we are going to use a few different options. We're going to start down in the lower left hand corner and work our way around this shape using a few different options. So down at the bottom here it says center, start, end. So I'm going to use the center, start option. This first one right here. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come down and make sure my O snap is on and make sure my center and my end snap are on. So I'm going to snap to the center of this green circle. I'm going to come to the center, slowly pull to the edge until I see that C-E-N, and click and snap. And now my command line is going to ask me for the start of the arc. I'm going to snap to the start, and then it's going to ask me for the end. And I'm going to snap to the end. And I have made a center, start, end arc right there. So this one up here, we're going to use the Start End Direction option. So I'm going to hover until I find that, the third one over here. I'm going to click on that. I'm always going to follow my command line. It's going to ask me for the start of the arc. It's going to ask me for the end of the arc. And you can see at this point, we can pull this arc out to any radius. But if I hold the Shift key down and I pull straight up, I get that nice 90 degree arc, and then I'll click and I've got the start and direction. Now we're going to come over here and do the start and radius arc. So we know our start, but we don't really know where our end is. I don't have anywhere to snap to. So we're going to have to think back to when we learned relative coordinates a long time ago. So I'm going to do start and radius, the fourth one over here. Click that. It's going to ask me for the start of the arc, which is right here. I'm going to snap and click there. And then it's going to ask me for the end of the arc, which I don't know where that is. But I do know right here this arc has a radius of 2, which means the center of the circle is 2 units over and 2 units up. So my end is going to be 2 units over and 2 units down. So I am going to, in my command line, type an R for relative. I'm going 2 in the x direction, comma, negative 2 in the y direction. And that is the end. And I'm going to hit enter. And now I know the radius is 2, so my command line is asking me for the radius. I'm going to type in 2 and enter. And now I'm going to move my mouse until I see the segment of the arc that I want. And I'm going to click. So that's a start and radius arc. The next arc, we can do the same way. We're going to do start and radius. So I'm going to click this again. Here's my start. And I know my end is just directly down from here. The radius is 2, which gets me to there. So this point will be 4 units directly down. That's the diameter. So I'm going to type in a 4 and an enter. I'm going to hold the shift key and click. And then I'm going to type in a 2 for the radius and enter. And I'm going to click. And we can do the same thing on this last one. Start, end, radius of 2 and enter.
Now all we have left is this circle and these arcs here. So for the circle, I'm just going to grab a circle center radius option. And I've got my center snap on. So I'm going to come and slowly pull to the edge of this circle here. And then click. And it's going to ask me for a diameter. I know the radius. Actually, I do know the diameter right there. So I'm going to leave it on diameter. The diameter is 2. I'm going to type in 2 and enter. And I've got that circle. All I have left now are these two arcs. And you can see right here, TTR, that means tangent, tangent, radius. So remember, a tangent line is a line that touches a circle in only one point. So we're going to come right over here, and you'll notice there's a right-click option for tangent, tangent, radius. So I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to turn off my center snap now at this point, because it's going to get in my way. And you'll see this white line. I'm going to rotate this white line until it's pointing in the direction I want. I'm going to move over to this, and I'm just hovering. I'm not clicking. And I'm going to just put that in a direction that looks like the shape I want, and click. And now it's going to ask me for the radius. If I look right here, the radius is 6. So I'm going to type in 6 and enter. And I'm going to select the segment of the arc that I want and click. I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other arc. So right click. I'm going to point this tangent line right here. I'm going to point this tangent line right here. And now the radius here is 3. So I'm going to enter 3, enter, and click. And now I can select this all, grab my trim tool, trim out these two circles, and I'm always going to finish by pressing join. And now to just see if we've done this right, we're going to come to the perspective window. We're going to change our view to shaded. And in our command line, we're going to type in extrude curve, enter. We're going to ask solid to equal yes, so I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to type in an extrusion distance of 1. And I should end up with a solid shape. So, we have done a variety of arcs. We've used almost all the arcs in the menu here. We've shown how they're done. And now you can use and apply those different arcs in order to make your push thick shape. Please email me or submit your file with the extruded shape so that I can check your work. Please be sure to contact me with any questions if you get stuck using Teams or PowerSchool messaging.